Hey guys, we're going to look at the uncertainty in multiple measurements. In a previous video, we looked at how to calculate the uncertainty in a single measurement. And today we're going to have a little bit of a recap of that, but we're going to compare it with how we calculate the uncertainty in multiple measurements. So let's have a look at this stopwatch that we have over here. And this is a single measurement. We've got a time of 3.65 seconds. The precision of this stopwatch is the smallest interval on this measurement device, which is 0.01 seconds. Because this is a digital device, the uncertainty is equal to the precision. So we say that the uncertainty is plus or minus 0.01 of a second. Therefore, we should record the time as time equals 3.65 plus or minus the uncertainty 0.01 of a second. Because if we only have that single measurement, that's all the information that we have to hand. But if we do an experiment where we record the time three times and we get these results 3.65, 3.42, and 3.85, it's clear to see there is a spread in these results. And that's due to random errors causing a scatter around about the mean. So the first step is we need to calculate the mean. And we add these three values together and divide by three and we get 3.64 seconds. Step two, we need to calculate the range. And the range is simply the largest number, 3.85. Take away the smallest number, 3.42. And we get a range of 0. 0.43 seconds. This range again is because of the spread of results as a result of random errors. Now, how do we calculate the uncertainty in multiple measurements? We simply use half of the range. So the uncertainty is the range divided by 2, which is 0 0.43, divided by 2, which is 0 0.215 seconds, but we want it to the same number of decimal points for the same precision, which is plus or minus 0.2. So our range was 0.43 and our uncertainty was half of the range, which is plus or minus 0.22. Because we have multiple measurements, we can see there is a scatter and this uncertainty takes into account those random errors. So we would record our time as the average 3.64 plus or minus 0.22 seconds. Let's have a look at one more example. We've got an ammeter here taking a single measurement of current is 2.5 amps. The precision is the smallest interval on this measurement device, which is 0.1 amps. And the uncertainty, because it's a digital device, is equal to the precision. So it's plus or minus 0.1 amps. So on a single measurement, we could say that the current is 2.5, our measurement, plus or minus the uncertainty, which is 0.1 amps. And that's all the information we have. But if we did an experiment where we record multiple measurements, so for example, we've got a current of 2.5, 2.3, then 2.6, we've got a fluctuating current. And that could be as a result of random errors. So step one, we calculate the average. And the average of these to one decimal point is 2.5 amps. Then we calculate the range. So we do the largest value, take away the smallest value, 2.3, which gives us a range of 0.3 amps. So a range is 0.3. The uncertainty, because we have multiple measurements, the uncertainty in the current is the range divided by 2, which is 0 0.3 divided by 2, which is 0 0.15. But we need the same number of decimal points for the same level of precision, which is plus or minus 0 0.2 amps. So our final um, recording of the current should be current is equal to the average 2.5 plus or minus 0 0.2 amps. So in summary, when you have multiple measurements, you calculate the range and half of that range is your uncertainty. And it takes into account those random errors which cause a scatter around the mean. In summary, over the past two videos, we need to go back over these terms. Precision is always the same definition. Precision is simply the smallest interval on a measurement device. The uncertainty depends upon whether we're calculating it using a single measurement or multiple measurements. Where we have just a single measurement, we have to consider whether we use an analog or a digital device. If we use an analog device, the uncertainty is simply the precision divided by two. Where we use digital devices, the uncertainty is equal to the precision. If we used multiple measurements, like we've seen in today's video, the uncertainty is simply half 
the range. These are really important but really simple rules that you just need to memorize and then apply in your exam. And that's it. Thanks for listening. See you all soon.